Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockiner. Today's story is an edge universal cross-site scripting vulnerability. In a blog post, a researcher named Manuel Caballero released some new vulnerabilities that affect the Microsoft Edge browser. You might have heard me talk about cross-site scripting vulnerabilities before. At a high level, a cross-site scripting vulnerability is a flaw in a web application. If the coders don't develop the application securely, they may be able to leave little flaws that might allow uh, bad guys to run script as you. And the way it typically works, if say a watchguard.com suffered a cross-site scripting vulnerability, if an attacker can get a watchguard.com user to click a specially crafted link, they could do anything that user could do on watchguard.com. Now typically cross-site scripting vulnerabilities only affect the web application that's vulnerable. And that's because browsers enforce something called the same origin policy. That means domains can only access their own information. For instance, if you go to watchguard.com, your browser is only going to let our website interact with the cookies and the, the uh, information on your computer that's associated with watchguard.com. It's not going to let you get access to an cookies from Microsoft.com. So that brings us to today's update where Caballero found a universal cross-site scripting vulnerability in the Edge browser. A universal cross-site scripting vulnerability actually bypasses the same origin policy. That means just by clicking any link in the Edge browser, you could give an attacker access to any other domain that you've accessed through that browser. For instance, you might go to Twitter and someone might send you a link, and if you click on that link, they might be able to not only post on your Twitter, but maybe access your other cookies and passwords as well. So it seems like it's a pretty significant universal cross-site scripting vulnerability in the Edge browser. Now, as far as I can tell, this researcher who's found a number of uh, same origin policy bypasses in the Edge browser hasn't really reported them to Microsoft, or at least he doesn't mention it in their blog post. So I presume that these are not fixed in the Edge browser yet. So that means if you happen to be a Edge user out there, you might want to avoid clicking on any sort of uh, unsolicited links that are sent your way, unless you actually check where they really point. By the way, if you're a very technically minded person that wants to know more detail about how this universal cross-site scripting attack works, I highly recommend you check out the researcher's blog post. Besides the videos I've been showing you, he has a lot of detailed information on how he found these vulnerabilities. Long story short, if you're an Edge user, be careful for uh, unsolicited links and look out for an update from Microsoft in the future. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.